And welcome to our next edition of Woodsy's Club Tour. Uh, this is one I'm pretty excited about, actually. It's my good mate, Ronaldo Mulatalo, mate. Thank you for coming in, Thanks obviously, in your deep. break. Good to see you again. Mate, I was quite excited <laughs> when uh, when I did message you and, and you replied and said you'd come, mate. It's one of my favourites and obviously one of my little fellow's favourites. But we'll go into that a little bit later on. Yeah. Um, you know, things we tend to talk about at the start is how we first met. Do you, do you remember how we met, mate? It was one life. I always know you always used to pay me out. Um, <laughs> that's what, that, was, that was just your kind of vibe. Senior boy, kind of all of us young stars coming through. But I think one vivid moment to me was like, I think you made my nose bleed one time. Like, I think one time you jammed me. We're doing like the rolling rack stuff and you jammed me and you go like, just trying to let me know like, this is your town, this is, I'm in your domain. I said, oh, I like stuff. This is my chance to try and prove myself. And I just remember I just kept coming at you and just smashing me. But that's probably the first thing I kind of remember most of the time. But... That, that was like in, was that pre-season, pre-season. 2019 or? Yeah, like that, 18, 19 yeah. kind of thing, yeah. Well, see, what we do, we do that to test you, <laughs> you know, and then if you come through the other side, as Good. you have, you become one of our favourites, mate. So it happened to me when I was a kid, don't worry. Yeah. I had Todd Payton, Keith Galloway, Broski, they all bashed me. And yeah. Mate, I pretty much went home crying. Loved so. it though. It was, it was good. Nah, it was, it was good listening for all of us. And that's what I said. Like, there's a couple of kids that can handle it and can't. And look yeah. where you are now, mate. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest reasons why we respected you at the time at Cronulla. Yeah. Um, it was because I remember Johnny Morris come up to us and said, you know, we've got some good young kids coming through, which is, I think it was the likes of yourself, yeah. Will Kennedy, Jax Ferris, Jackson and all Ferris, them. Katoa. All mate, of them. And look at them now, Ramians. And then he just goes, just put a little bit of heat on them, see how they handle it. <laughs> and, mate, he's passed with flying colors. And that's why he's yeah. so good now. Um, Mate, talk to us about a journey as a kid. Sur- Cyril Connell Cup, the yep. Ipswich. Yeah, Ipswich. Obviously, you know, just took my boxes there and yep. then found my way through school footy. Because the school footy wasn't really a big thing for me back in New Zealand. Yeah, because you come um, over, hey. From... Yeah, yeah, come over from New Zealand and was just looking for opportunity kind of yep. thing, looking for a sniff. And then um, Cyril Connell was like that next big step for myself and, and my brother. And I just saw it as like, that was my next step to yeah, get into yep. NRL and took that pathway and really enjoyed my time and my footy there. We weren't the best, but you know what it's like, Woodsy, when you're that young, you just, you just enjoy footy and you love it so much, being 100%. around your mates. So did my time there and then um, I fell in love with the area. Yep. Um, and then obviously that led to school footy being successful and that, and then um, managed to bag a couple of Queensland jerseys yeah. during that time. And then... Any any players playing first grade now that played there with you, whether it's at um, Ipswich or the junior... Queensland, Queensland yeah, there's heaps like Jermaine Hopgood. Oh yeah, um, yeah. he was. Like, it was weird because he went off the scene for a little bit. Okay, and then we were like, man, like me and Braden Trindle were together, obviously. Yep. Oh, tricky, yeah, tricky nice. was together, and then we just said, man, where's like Maney gone? Yep. He's he's one of the freaks, and obviously he come out and now he's earning his his oh, colours man. and his flowers. So what it's good to see, he's freak, freak. Oh. And we always knew it. Um, but he, nah, played off a lot of good players during that time they're playing footy now and like Tanner Boyd yeah. um, Corey Pakes so did you play too. against them for school footy as well like, school that, footy that Kibra Park side man they were, one year we reversed them they had like Thomas Mikaele yep. um, they yeah, had Payne Hass, Payne Hass David Fafida Tanner Boyd all in this one team in one team <laughs> didn't, didn't Britt Nakora couldn't make the side yeah I don't think he could have during he was a year older but I remember man their, 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 like their team wow. before that was stacked so yeah, Britain wasn't making their team I think on the week to week basis, yep. but he was. I think he played a couple of games for them, but that just shows how good Keeper oh, was mate. as a as a school and how feared they were during that time. But yeah, no, I, I had a good time playing with most of the boys in that around that time. Oh, most blokes do in the junior age. It's the best time. Oh, to it's play. the best time. So, it's, so how did you get to Cronulla? Like, what, did they come see you at the the Queensland games yeah. or was it Ipswich? How, what was your first talks with Cronulla? We we're playing that like little carnival thing. Yep. You know that you get schools have the carnival like so you have your make zones. Queens, yeah, oh, okay, so yep. you have like your zone like mine was Met West and yeah, yep. And we rest South Coast, which is like all the Kibras, Palm okay. Beaches, and that. Uh, and under 15s, and we were lucky enough to win it yep. that year. And like we shouldn't have won it. Like South oh, Coast really? had, you know, Dave Feeder oh. and and Tom, <laughs> all these all these boys that are you yep. know established during that time. And yeah, like I uh, just they picked me up from there, and then they went through the school, and they're like come down for a week. Uh, Moonzy. The great oh, Moonzy yeah, was in there. Yeah, he's still there now. Yeah, he's still there. Come back. Yeah. So Moonzy come and he was just like, oh, do you want to come down for a camp? Um, and then I came down for my first camp, I think in 2015 or 16, 15, I think. How skinny were you then? So skinny, man. I've got all these photos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still skinny right now, but I was just thinking about all the times I was, oh, I look back and I always have a giggle, but nah, it's, um, yeah, I feel like it's been a long journey, but yep. I've loved it. And so when did you get the opportunity to come down? What year was Did you play SG Ball down at Cronulla or just? Yeah, my, so I graduated literally, I was 16 still, so I graduated that yep. Friday. Yep. 
Um, all my mates were going schoolies for that Saturday, Sunday kind of thing. And I was on the next flight out on that Sunday morning. Oh, so you didn't even get to go so schoolies? I didn't get to go. I asked. I was like, oh, like, surely I can go schoolies. Like, was that Flano? Just... Or did Flano knock you back? No, nah, it was just a junior. Uh, oh, okay. It wasn't Braille's at the time. It was someone else. Yep. I got called Vinny. just said, nah. Oh, yeah. Fair you, enough. You come. Yeah. And I was we like, you know. Lose you exactly. Color. Yeah. So I was like, oh, look, you know. That probably hurt me a little bit, you know. Yeah. All my best mates all went to schoolies, partied on, and and drank and carried on. And I had to go run up bloody sand hills, oh, so man. that was Wanda. disappointing. Wanda, Wanda yeah, Wanda sand hills that was hurt. So you come down. So what did you play? SG Ball, SG Ball, SG yep. Ball, and and who, which other players? Because you you've all come through the system at the set, like they're yeah. playing great now, haven't you? The we had five. really heaps, man. Like we had Tiggy Wilson, yep, uh, Fina Kula, obviously, yeah, who, yep. who got done um, with that, and then. And we had Bronze, myself, um, Gents. Was Brails, or was he a couple of years older? Brails was a couple of years older than me. Oh, he's always played a year above because yep. he was just so good, right? Oh, okay. So he always played a year above. But then we got to 20s and that. We still had like Isaac Lumi Lumi. Yep. Um, and all these all these boys that are all gone over, like James Romanos. Yep. Who was that mainly as so well? Many, all, the guys all these boys, said. yeah. Zippy was with us. Oh, so Luke Zippy, Metcalf. Yeah, Luke yep. Metcalf, James wow. Salmon. James Salmon too. He was in our SG ball. And then we got to 20s. We all played 20s together. Yep. And then obviously Zippy went to Manly and and then our cup side was after that was even bigger. So And then April twenty sixth, you signed the top thirty contract. Yeah. Um I love the story behind it. I'd love yeah. for you to tell them about, you know, how you go up there as so just run us through what happened that, that twenty four hours. Yeah, I was so I was gonna sign to South. Um I was on my way out to oh, South. Really? I yeah, didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, so oh. I was on my way out to South because I had a meeting with um Wayne at the time, oh, Wayne really? was there, so I was. So you were close to going. So I was close. I was. I was like, oh, I like, spoke to Wayne. Oh wow. Um, and then I was really keen on like, oh, like my opportunity might be here. And yep. Wayne was like, man, I can tell why people love playing for yeah, him. Yep. He's just a. When I sat down one on one with him, I had a conversation, and that was just he was an awesome dude. And um, then Bomber was. I think Bomber calls me and goes, "Look, mate, we got your like top thirty deal. Um, we we want you to be eighteen man this week." So then yep. my mind just kind of flipped, and I was like, "Oh, like shit." And then I saw my name for the first time on the team list yeah. on the 18 spot. Uh, my eyes lit up. Like family is super happy for me, and it was weird because like that's only 18 man, right? You're not yeah. guaranteed anything. And I remember we were going to Brisbane, and we we're all getting ready to travel and come back. And my I had my own locker finally in the in the dressing <laughs> shed, so I was happy with that. And um, and then I saw my travel bag and all that stuff because well, you know uh, you don't get for that. The, for the people at home. Is that sharks? You've got like a, a change room, and the top 30 top have their 30, own locker yeah. with a picture of them. So. If you're not in that locker room, you're yeah, in that the tiny story. little dingy <laughs> one at the back. So just paint the picture for the people. So yeah, so I finally graduated. I felt I was like, yes, like this is my chance. <laughs> you know, I feel like a... Who, who are you next to in the locker room? Me, Fina. Oh, and... No, in the main one. On the main Fida, one. You? Yeah, for Fida oh. and Duke. So you can only imagine Drew, 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 just, <laughs> Drew was just nailing me. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I... And so I was just real young, like just yep. really excited to be around the team. Excited to be around the likes of you, gals and yep. that and... Didn't really understand what was going on, just just real happy. And then we went to the airport. I remember we were up, going up the, we're going into the room where they have all the food, like all the private rooms. Yep. In the airport, and I was just sitting there going to boogie. I um Jason Bukuya. I was like, oh man, this is the best. He's like, don't worry, brother. I've had plenty of these. And I was just like, this is the best. That's a Qantas lounge, I think. Yeah, Qantas yeah, lounge. Yeah, and yeah. I was I was abusing it, man. I was I was I was <laughs> having kid fizzy, yeah, young kid having fizzy drinks here and there because it was unlimited and just yep. going crazy and then. I just remember we get to Suncorp and um, that all like the whole day was kind of a, a big blur to me. Yep. I was just like, oh, you know, doing my thing. And we got to the field and uh, warm up come around and I was like, didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, I'm going to go out, feel yeah. the crowd a little bit and this would be cool. Ran out. Yep. I felt like everything went right. And so, oh, sweet, the boys here. Yeah, my job's done. Started dusting my hands off, yep. getting his shower. And we were running through the pads as the last thing and I didn't really see Doogie run off, but he took off straight away into the changing room. And yep. I said, oh, sweet. So I would we all went in. And then I was, took all my clothes off. He was getting ready. He's yep. all getting ready to run out, taking my clothes off in the shower. And then I think Grant Jones comes up. He's like, mate, you need it. You need to come out here. Like, I said, what's going on? Come out. Doogie's crying. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? And then he's like, get ready. You're getting out. Like, you're getting ready to play. So I had to go dig my kit out of the bloody kit bag, <laughs> chuck it on, and like strap up everything. And I was like, oh, damn, took all my strapping. So I was just strapping yep. up. I saw these like there was like four pre workouts. I never take pre workout. <laughs> I just saw it. And I said, "Stuff it!" Bang! Nailed four of them down. Wow! I was How just, was your guts? I was turned over straight away. Was buzzing. I was just didn't even know like you know that feeling yeah. of tingling. I was like, "Oh damn it! Here we go!" So then, before I knew it, man, like it was like just run like that. And then I'm like, 
arms and arms off. I had Sean Johnson and J Moz next to yep. me. And I was just singing the national anthem and I was like, oh, here we are. This is a surreal. And then I remember lining up. I looked over and I had the bloody big Corey Oates in front of me, Jack Bird. And I was just like, oh. Because I think we, we had a young edge to that one, wasn't it? It was yourself, Cherry. Yep. Britain and SJ, then SJ goes SJ, down. Yeah, that is um, ankle. It was Hemi, Hemi straight Hemi, away. Yeah, Hemi, yeah. It was like three minutes into the game. They shifted it. SJ went to go chase. That is Hemi. And then Brails comes. Big big Brails comes. Yep. Little Brails goes to the hooker position. And That's right. So Jaden was playing half. Jaden, yeah. Jaden ended up playing in half. We, we got pumped that night. Is there anything you remember from that night? Just dropping every all the balls at uh, Milf? Milford. Oh, <laughs> he sits in my nightmares, oh. I reckon. I remember me and Will, like, for literally two years, I swear, two years, man. Like, we, when we'll do kick catch with DJ and that, yep. we'll go, oh, Milford's kicking it to you. Like, <laughs> just to try and get ourselves psyched up for it. And we did that for honestly two years, man. Like, just Mate. couldn't take him out of our head because we just practiced it so much. We're like, oh, let's keep practicing. They are hard. Like, they're floaters, they're torpies. He didn't kick. Well, the whole year. The whole year. That was the and best game he had. The best game he had is when I debuted and Will's second game. So it's, I was like... But you know what? It's also a credit because you're one of the safest under the high balls yeah. now. So you've you've worked your backside off to get that. <laughs> what about... How many tickets did you have for the game? Because obviously you were eighth man. You weren't... Was your mum there? Was... Well, I managed to bag like 20 tickets. Oh, really? Actually, my parents in there were like, oh, I will come just in case. Because right? I remember and... seeing photos after the game and you had heaps of yeah, people Yeah, yeah. There, like, there was like almost 20 or 30 of them. They just wanted to come just in case. Yep. And it was like, oh, like, you know, who cares? Like, we know you're not playing, but we just want to be there just in case. Yep. And it was probably one of the best things that happened, right? Like, it was, that happened. And then apparently, like, before we had run out, because you know how they tell it on the telly first. Yep. So everyone that was watching from home on the telly, we were texting my mum, oh, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. My mum's like, what are you on about? Oh, so she's just there watching. She didn't even know. Oh. So she's like, she she didn't know until she saw me line up. So they're all clueless. They don't know what's happening. And they're like, oh, they're seeing on the telly he's playing. And my mum thinks they don't understand footy. So she's like, no, he's just 18, man. Don't yeah. worry, don't worry. And then. She sees you out there. Yeah, I come running out and I'm on their side. And she just sees me and she, apparently she just started crying. And Is, is there anything you remember, like, did Bomber say anything to you before the game or Gal or? Uh, you know, Gal's speeches before the game. Yeah, get boring. out there, run yeah, hard, tackle boring. hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like. Yeah, you know, oh, know, Bop, did Bop shut up? Because he never does yeah, normally. Oh, you just, no, nah, everyone was just like getting around me. I remember yeah. everyone just like, I mean, like, you earned this, blah, blah, go out and do it. Um, but yeah, like I, even though I played like, like shit. I just, oh mate, I just, I, I would, I didn't even, actually didn't care. I was like, oh, at least I know where to work from here. I knew how hard it was. It was like twenty minutes. I think it was like wait, sixty minutes into the game, and I was yep. cramping up bad. Oh yeah, and then, and I started stressing out. And then I was like, oh man, that's if that's what it takes to be at that level, man. I got some work to do, right? Uh, so, yeah. but as a group, Bomber told us he goes, he told the leaders he goes, we've, we've just signed Ronaldo, top thirty. We're yep. gonna bring him up for some experience. So they didn't expect you to play, mate. Yeah, so yeah. it was hard. And like you said, mate. You're at the lounge, you're on the fizzies, oh, you're on the ham cheese toast. I was doing everything. I was playing ping pong till like 11 o'clock the night before. Like, so you just thinking you're first grade, like I, just getting around. I was just getting around. Like, I was like, I'm here for moral support, playing ping pong, eating ice cream the night oh, before. Mate. And I was just like, oh, I'm here for a good time. And ah, well, look at you now, mate. You've done a great job. <laughs> and then my one of the, when I was, when, I remember when I, we were playing that first year, like, mate, I love the energy, I love yeah. the pump up. Round 24, when we play against the, the Canberra Raiders. You remember that game? It was Gow's last game. Yeah, I remember that. Remember you scored a couple yeah, tries? Yeah, and, and then I scored the two old, You're doing the old to the crowd. And, and remember, it, I go, mate, in the review. Yeah. We, like, did we, get, we got beat. I think they kicked got, three field goals. Like, yeah. it was, it was, it was, we kicked two field yeah. goals. They kicked three or something. It was crazy. I think Flano, Kyle Flanagan played that one. He yeah. missed a couple of goals. And remember I said to you, I said, hey, before oh. you put the ball down closer to the post, and then you can celebrate as much as you want. And I remember I blew up at someone. Like, we had a... Cause we had a because we couldn't kick a goal that yeah. year as well. We and I remember... Lost heaps of games missing conversions. Missing conversions. And then I remember like I did it and Bomber was like into me and I was like, oh, like next time just kick the effing goal in. Yeah. And then I remember you called me after and go like, it's not about that, bro. Yeah. Like, And then like, that's probably see, like that's another lesson for myself. Yeah, I, was like, I remember I seen you had a bit frustrated at the end of it. I was just... Yeah. You just got to be told sometimes. Like, yeah, but yeah. That's what you do well. You handle that well. And yeah. like, I remember jumping in my car and I was, yeah. like, I was filthy. Yeah, I, I was like, oh, I felt like everyone was like yeah. against me for yeah. not putting the ball down. But then I look back at it now. I'm like, bro, it's like taught me so much, right? Mm. Like now every time I cross the line, if I can try and get that extra inch closer to the post, it just makes life so much easier, right? Oh, and, that's I, it. and so that's why I always laugh. I'm like, every time I'm crossing the line, I'm like, try and get close put as you can. Put it down, get, get down. Get put then it you can do what you want. Yeah, and then... <laughs> Carry on like a larrikin or whatever you want to do after that. So yeah, well that's that's the only reason why I rang you up. I said, mate, 
we love your energy. Yeah. But just put the freaking thing close to the post yeah, you can. And to make it life easier. I remember, I remember that call too, because I was driving <laughs> and you were driving too. And you're like, yeah. how you going, mate? And I don't know whose number was. It was yours. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and I just remember you getting, like, not that we don't love you. It's just we're telling you, like, just yeah. get it closer. Oh, no, we love you. Yeah, yeah. And it was we just, just like. What's best for the team? Yeah, so that was a good listen. And then remember the next week. Remember we had to win that game against the Tigers. Yep, mate, that was the best day. What about that feeling? What about walking out oh, and mate. they stopped the bus from like going down near the gate, so we had to walk through the crowd, through, through the street. You loved it because that's your hometown, yeah, so you I, couldn't care less. I remember I said, anyone wants to hear um, someone get sprayed, just come, <laughs> come next to me. It'll be a good feeling for this. <laughs> I think I was walking behind you and you were just laughing the whole way through. Oh, mate. That was a, yeah, that was, that was tough. But then we, you know, we win that game. But then I remember, remember you, you smashed Brooksy. Yeah. And you got suspended for a shoulder charge, which I don't think it was. Yeah. And this is to your credit. So you played eight games that year, didn't you? Yeah, eight games, yeah. And I remember we lost you for that first semi final, mate. I reckon that was the biggest loss we had, like losing you, yeah. because what you brought, not just when you carry the ball, it's your energy, like. Yeah. The, Try to get around the, the boys. The shit you <laughs> talk. Like, if you get around the boys, and I reckon that's one of your biggest and best attributes, and the boys feed off it. Yeah. So I reckon when we lost you there, that was a huge part that, yeah. And that, like, that was weird because it kind of like broke me because I wasn't a true first grader then. Like, I didn't feel yeah. like I was, a, like, I didn't earn Still that respect yet. I was, yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, like, I don't get that right to say anything or do anything. Yep. All I got to do is turn up when I'm told and, and, and how I'm told. And, and when I like happened, I was just like, man, I, that's one yep. of the games I wish I could have played, man. Yep. Like I sit there and go, I wish I was a part of that. Yep. Especially at Brookvale, like against a, you know, such a oh, awesome team, huge team, huge yeah, team, and I just that would have been nice to be a part of that. So. I think that was Gao's last game. Gao's too. last game, yeah. so it was disappointing. Um, but yeah, like you know, he learned. But could you qualify for Newtown? You played the rest of the season, uh, rest of the semis for Newtown. Yeah. And you just go on to have that mad run. Yeah, like you went, you just come eighth, didn't you? We're in ninth, and ninth. then that last game we won to get in the eight. Yep. Then we come eighth, and then went on that big run. Like we, I think, because we were all, I think it was me, Brails, like Jake Boogie, Scotty Sorensen, yep. like all of Magoulis. us, Billy Magoulis, <laughs> and then we had all these boys right coming back from first yep. grade, and um, it was good timing. Like, and because we had played most of the year together as well, yeah. it wasn't like we just got thrown in the deep end. Yep. Um, and you know how usually. Didn't players, you get the Dolph back as well? Got the Dolph the back. Dolph, he come off his arm. Um, yeah. And yeah, everyone thought, like, this dude's a good carry on. Yeah, what a Derek. Like, Wait, I looked after him at the start because oh, I like weird people. <laughs> yeah, we all know that. You don't care. You don't discriminate against anyone. So That's it. Made sense. But when he come, and we're like, this, that was a big game. We needed to win it against, yep. I think it was Mounties. And it was his first game. Man, I went and watched. And he killed it. And yeah. everyone just, his respect levels just went up. I always tell him the story. Yeah. I said, man, like. If you can back up what you say, oh. then it, it makes life a bit easier. And, and for, for the people out there, how weird was it? Oh, to start, eh? come in like just. Like off we've of we've had some weird people at Sharks, but, but was, he was that was different. He knows that too. He always talks yeah. about it, man. Like oh, we're right. on the beers and then he's like, oh, "I know you guys all hated me." <laughs> <laughs> we just sit there laughing. We're like, "Don't worry, man. We love you, so oh, it's all mate. good." He's the best. He's the best. But so yeah. Yeah, but then you just go on and you and you make the GF. Made the GF, yeah. So yeah. we knocked off, I think, Dragons for the qualifier and then went in. And we had a, we were wrestling like a stacked parasite. Yeah. Uh, Winnie's. They had like Penny Tirippo there. Um, who else are they? Like Johnny, oh, Tim Manor. Tim Manor. Tim Manor. Daniel Alvaro, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah Daniel Alvaro. Yeah, like Hodge, uh, Hoffman, Josh Hoffman. Yeah, Josh Hoffman, yeah. The Jennings, right. one of the Jennings brothers. Yep. They had this like stacked squad. James Salmon. Oh, wow. So they had the, all these guys that yep. had done first grade throughout the years. I was Ray Stone. Yeah, yep. Playing as well. So. And he's played them at Combank too. Combank at their, at their home, home ground. Yeah. So and then we knocked them off on the bell. Oh, the overtime, overtime. Will, Will Kennedy. Will Kennedy, yeah. yeah. The great B Billy Magulius. Oh, the boot. And, yeah. and then you play Burley the next week in the the cross, like the, the Queensland Cup, yeah. which is Wales Cup. And then we, we managed to do the same thing against yeah. him. I couldn't stand their trainer, man. Yeah, because you, you get a little bit lippy. Yeah, he was. But the trainer was like, I don't mind players getting lippy, right? Yeah. So we were going back and forth in this yeah, Burley yeah. game. And like, great. To be fair, like we were on the beers for a fair bit, like we just want to comp. We just won the comp, right? So we were <laughs> celebrating up until yeah. like almost Thursday, and obviously Q Cups a massive thing, so they wanted to knock knock yep. us off, and the whole Queensland New South Wales rivalry yep. was well and alive there. And then remember we got to Thursday, captains around there were trying to sort ourselves out, piece yep. ourselves back together, and so we probably went in that game too lightly, and then got a rude awakening there. Like, um, who's the who's the half for Canberra there? Jamal Fogarty. Yeah, Fogarty yeah. was there and, and they had all these good dudes there and um, I remember they, they just gave us a rude awakening in the first like yep. half and then we kind of woke up and go, oh, like we've got to get our footy on and then Tricky came alive and yeah. all the boys started coming alive and I remember we were chirping off 
we weren't even chirping to be honest. Like usually I'm a chirpy yeah. dude and I wasn't even chirping, but I could hear this dude just bagging yeah. my bagging me out like personally and really? I was just like, Who's this dude? And looked up, it's a dude in the blue shirt and oh. I was just like, Here you go and he just didn't stop. He was just like that's why I know I want you from Queensland. Just like into wow. me, like saying all this personal like stuff. And I was just like, this is pissing me off now. And they're like, <laughs> he's getting into tricky, yep. like saying, run at him. He's this and this. And yep. this dude's not even playing a game, oh, right? And so I was just, I was annoyed. I remember after the game, we won. And I carried on so hard in front of him too. I like, <laughs> I made him know that. I was but like, the way he's won too. Yeah, the way we won. Like, I remember they were singing their team song like oh really i remember their fans they had a good fan base there, and i remember yep. their fan base just singing their team song and it was they were singing it singing it and kosori ran first and yep. it was just like a hit up and then we did the kick but then it was just it just went quiet while they like kick went up in the air and then just erupted as soon as he scored it so the perfect bounce for jackson perfect, ferris oh and then he rode away in the sunset so <laughs> we were all happy with it and Nah, it was one of my best years of footy as well that I really enjoyed. Oh, um, mate, you were outstanding that year. Yeah, so it was, it was good. I remember watching the grand final and then this this skinny this skinny <laughs> little bloke walks out because <laughs> you've had a broken jaw. You haven't eaten much. Yeah. You win I'm the Ken pencil. Stephen medal winner. Like, yeah. that is huge, mate. Like, yeah. that's, that's, not, that's sort of for what happens off the field. So that's all your charity work. Because I know you do a lot of stuff for Stepping yep. Stone House. Remember, they come to training. Yeah. People don't know that about you. So just talk to us about what you do, what you do off the field. Not that... Like, we don't want people to bow down. I just want people to see what you do away from footy. Oh, it's like, no, for, my, for myself, I've got to find a different outlet, right? And yep. I've got to learn to appreciate what I have now. And it's a good thing to keep me grounded. It's a good thing to reflect on and, and yep. how, how far I've come as well in my life. And um, uh, my my parents are real giving in, in that way. And they've always taught me to be that person. And so when I do get the chance to do charities, um, yep. I'll go down on a Tuesday now just... I've been doing it for this year, the past year. Uh, going down on a Tuesday, taking like clothes from the boys that yep. they want to give away and shoes uh, at Willamalu down in this homeless yep. uh, little center. They pop up center that they, that they do, and the Stepping Stone House is an awesome organization as well for That's youth huge. homelessness. And yeah. um, so I got to be a part of fundraising for them as well. Yep. And I think uh, it's weird because uh, you don't want to be recognized for it because you don't do it for that. No. Um, but there's so many other players in this game that give so much of their time that deserve to be recognized as well. Yep. And and they just, they deserve to have that light on it. And yep. it's important because you actually do more good by shedding light on that oh, than yeah. hiding it away, right? Yeah. So it was a good opportunity for me to raise money for them. And um, and you know, Ken Stephen Medal wasn't just for myself, it was for my family, for the club. Yep. Uh, the club hadn't been in good uh, good papers during that time. Oh, you know, yes, was, we had yeah. we had some stuff off the field that mm -hmm. we weren't really good at, and so it was real good to bring that back to the club, yep. uh, bring that back to all the organisations, and and let them know that uh, we're doing the right thing at the moment. So I was really happy with that, and Mum was pretty stoked with it as well. And yep. it's a good achievement to have um, under my belt. That's no, good. It shows you what sort of person you are too, because I remember we we used to be in the change ring some days. Your know, boys. What's, who's doing something tonight? Anyone got something off? Or, and then you'd be like, oh, I'm going to go this. And you'd, yep. if, if if it wasn't, you know, other blokes putting it, you'd probably get three or, yeah. and it'd always be someone different. So, yep. mate, it's, it's a huge thing that you do. Yeah. The smile that I've seen when I've been there with your times and the kids just light up, mate. Yeah. It's, it's, it's impressive. Um, and as you say, you don't do it for the accolades, you do it for no. the kid. And, and they get so much out of it, mate. So it's, a, it's an honour to yourself. So then 2022 comes around. New coach, few players move on. Yeah. You know, you get... Uh, Nico Hines, Dale Finnecane, um, Cam McInnes. How was it the first, you know, just a different vibe? Yeah, it was weird because we didn't know what to expect. Like, I, we were like new coach, as you yep. said, in players, and we didn't know where where the start and stop was kind of thing. Yeah, yep. It was just like, oh, come in blinded and, and just go hard, right? And so I yep. remember that off-season, I really went hard at training just because I didn't want to miss the bus when I came on the first day. And yep. I think a lot of us did that. Um, so we all rocked up first day and that you can just feel the intensity straight away yep. and, and the presence he brought. Um, I was, you either win or you're not good enough. Yep. And that's what it was. And that's yeah, okay. how Fitzy is, right? And he's just like, you either win, get the job done or I'll find someone to get the job done. And so wow. you could feel that. And the way we train, man, like, you know, wrestling, we all hate yep. wrestling, but we've got to do it, right? And yep. anyone that knows... Fitzy is, he loves his wrestle, loves yeah. how to like get into that. And so we were, when we we're getting into it, we we're learning about it. And straight away, we found out who the psychos were, um, the two nut jobs. So. 
they all in and Cam. Yep. Um, but they're probably good for us, you know. They they probably toughened us up a bit and brought their intensity every training session. Yep. And, and so when that happened, it was good. Um, but yeah, it was just a real eye opener of a year, and I felt like we finally had some direction from the top yep. instead of within the playing group because usually it was the other way around which was waiting yeah. yourself and then leading from the bottom up Yep. but to have that direction from the top down uh, felt so good to to finally feel stable and, and yep. know what we're truly going after and that's what we've done like we really went after it that year and yep. enjoyed it had a fun year everyone invested into learning Yeah. Um, and then you know, the culture obviously we, the culture was always there like, oh, it's mad like culture, we always no. we always had a good culture right? Yep. it wasn't that it was the direction and, and the leadership of where we needed to be and where we yep. need to go outside of the playing group and yep. and, the, and the NRL group. I've, I've heard some funny stories about Dale. <laughs> like, they reckon he's extremely weird, but he has a certain preparation. He is. <laughs> he is so weird, man. He runs everywhere. Yep. Which gives me anxiety because I'm like, am I missing something? So he's yep. just always on the run. Like, I'm not even, like, Forrest Gump style oh, running really? everywhere, like, just... I see him when he runs out. He's, he's yeah, exactly. He runs out like that. Sprints. But that's that's how he yeah. lives his life, man. 100 miles an hour, he comes in, like... And there's no knock on him. He's an ultimate professional. Yep. Like, he that's all he's chasing after. He does, like... he I reckon he trains before you got to train. Like, he, that's yeah his pre-routine before running out on the field as a whole training session. Like, it's... Really? Calf pumps jumping jacks, like just all this stuff, man, to get himself sorted. I'm like, you do that for hours work. Yep. And it's just crazy to watch. Like Cam's the same thing. Not as intense as yep. Dale, but Dale, man, he straps everything into meetings. So he's got, this, he's got his big guards on and we're just like, that can't be legal, man. Someone's got to check his guards. But you know what? That's, that's what you want from your leaders, mate. Oh, he just shows you, leaves no stone unturned. And that's yep. why he's been so successful yep. his whole career. And he looks like he's brought that to you guys because... You you finished second that year. Yeah. Like no one like you probably what goal top four? Yeah. That was goal, yeah. Like and that's a long way for any team, you know, oh, to 100%. think that you're just thinking, oh, top four, but you can just say top four and just let it linger, or you can go top four and chase after it. So And what's Nico like? Like we see a lot of the stardom, but what's he like around the boys? Is nah, he... led around the boys. Yeah. Um like he gets around everyone. Obviously he's a big mental health advocate yep. and he's had his own battles. Yep. Um but you no, know, he's He's probably one of those other guys that comes in, does the extras, and yep. you know, all the boys watch and go, oh, like, if he can do it, I can do it. 100%. He's good at keeping the boys honest, too. Like, he, you can have the tough conversation with him as well. Oh, like, nice. you can tell him. Oh, yeah. Like, I've, I've, given, I've gone up to him and given yep. him sprays all the time. I couldn't care less. Yep. But he's done the same thing back to yeah, me, yep. and we'll make sure that's a, like, we want to make sure within the group, that's a, or it's always open for that. Like, yeah, beautiful. You can go at each other. It's yep. not a personal thing. It's just... You're trying to keep each other honest and accountable, hold each other accountable, then that's yep. the way it is. And he's fit really well into that and he's added his own flavor into it. Oh, speaks nice. well, man. Like yeah. when he gets up in meetings and that speaks really well. Like not like the feeder. No. <laughs> he does he does he doesn't do the truth. Like he does a he you know, it gets to the point and he's real rock yep. solid on it and you can tell he believes it. Yeah. Um and that's what you want in a leader is oh, when he's speaking, you wanna feel that he feels it as well and he believes it. Well, mate, he had an incredible Dally M first year. Yeah, exactly. So that's about it with all the footy stuff. But there's a couple of things I want to ask you. The Queensland. Mm. So talk to us about how did you like, because I remember I texted you, I thought you were in your plane. Yeah. I remember I said, I oh, can't believe I'm going to be going it's for it. Going for it. <laughs> but then a couple of days later, you get told that you're not allowed to play. Yeah, it was like, it was a real, oh, I felt like I was in a bad, bad dream. Like it, was, yeah. it didn't even feel real. Like I woke from or if anything was the highest on my career, it was yep. I felt like that, and then the lowest was the lowest, right? And I had that all in less than twenty four hours. Like I felt that emotion yeah, yep. you know, of the highest on my footy career. And I remember I went to sleep, knocked out, and I was real happy with the way I, you know, I'm, I'm playing tomorrow. This yeah. is, you know, I've been working for this for so, so long. So it was the day before or the day of you found day of. So I was like, I I went to sleep, knocked out, blah blah, blah and then I um. Whatever, whatever. Got myself ready. Turned my phone off. Yeah. I really wanted to get good sleep. Woke up in my hotel room. Felt good. I was like, ah. Oh. I woke good morning. Opened the curtain. Looked nice. That was sweet. And then turn my phone on. Get this call from the manager. And he's like, come into this meeting room. We need you. I was yeah. like, oh, what could this be? You know, blah, blah. So I just, sweet. Let me get my stuff on. Got my kit on. Went up to this meeting room in the hotel. And yeah. they were just like, we want everything from when you were 12. Like your passport, blah, blah, blah. Your visa. And I said. And they, they were like, you got 
10 or 20 minutes to do it. Um, and I was like, how do you expect that? Like, I've been here for well, how, however yeah. so many years and you expect me to grab all of that stuff. So, um, and I just couldn't. And then they gave me this like, oh, if he plays and we deem him in a, like ineligible yeah. after the game and you just win it, then that game becomes null and void and New South Wales take it. No so so yeah. it was up to me. They were like, oh, like that's your decision. And I was like, I can't do that. Like oh, if we man. win this game, it's a, it's a decider. That, that was game three. two. Game two. two. So it was, if we had lost it, then yeah. uh, obviously the series goes to New South Wales. Yeah, so I was like, it. I can't do that. Like I just. And, and New South Wales won the first game by 50. That was yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. And did you find out how, like how, what happened? Like how, how it come to the point where they were trying to make you not play? And I, I remember I talked, Oh, I didn't even know anything about it. Like, I just, I just saw one thing and I, they were like, someone was just like, oh, how's he eligible? And I just didn't even pay mind to it. I was like, oh, no, yeah, I've whatever. gone through 15, 16s, yeah, 18s, yeah. 20s. I've done it all, right? And mm -hmm. I just thought nothing of it. And so when it came out, it was just a whole big shock to me. I, oh, man, that was weird. I was shattered for you, mate. Yeah, it was probably the worst too. And because it was during that COVID year still too, Yep, I couldn't see my family. So I couldn't yeah. go over and, and like, Nothing's better than a mum's hug, you know. Oh, it's mate, like you can. It doesn't matter how old yeah. you are when you're in the slums. Nothing's <laughs> better it. than a hug from your mum. And yeah, I just remember that week that happened. It was just felt like my world came crumbling down. The walls caved in on me. And then oh, we played Broncos the next week, so we we're back in Brizzy again. Yep. I remember after the game we lost, and then you now that obviously sucked. And then I went over to see my family, and they're no, all we, up we, in the we stands. Game, didn't we? Nah, we had just lost on the bell. No, didn't we, we, went, we, we scored in the bill, I think, that game. Oh, what was that, that one? one. That no, was a daytime game. Oh, a daytime it was game. a daytime yeah, game. Daytime. And right, we lost yeah. it. That's right. And I remember my family were up on the in the crowd and I couldn't even like... You couldn't even give a cuddle I couldn't even give a cuddle. Like, and I probably needed that the most. Yeah. And my, I was like, I... So I just started crying on the, yep. on the side of the field and I was oh, just like, man. that hurt me. I was like, oh, yeah. you know, nothing. I want to do more than be around my family. And yeah. they the club were good, man. They asked me, do you want to go back home? be around your family and I was like nah like this makes me happy being around yep. you guys right and so yeah I just got on with life after that and uh, nah, lucky it. enough to get it. Playing New Zealand now mate. Yeah you exactly. Know, I got, got to do that. And then our mate Roycey Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I remember when he was at he took the car tire off you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah yeah. I um. What about that? Was it a training one time? We training yeah, your, yeah. You would wind him up as yeah, you do. as I do. Get into him like always. I like to get cheeky to him because yeah. he gives me a reaction. His only reaction is I'll, I'll bash you. Yeah, I'll bash so, you or on. your nan or whatever yeah, something yeah, like no, that. And we just, yeah, yeah. You know, we just laugh at his comebacks. But I remember coming out of training and I think it was like, oh, my car wasn't where it was supposed to be, so I went yep. to the back. Yep. And I was on this bloody jack. Oh, all these, all these bricks <laughs> and my tires still got the jack on the it's on the bricks. Yeah. And I was just like, where's my tires gone? Oh, and he's mate. like, don't worry. So I had to get the boys to come help me put didn't the tire on. Didn't Fifth help you? Yeah, I think yeah. Fifth helped me after he's the one that done it. Yeah. He helped Royce do it. And then, oh no, no, he found the guy. He found Royce. Remember he grabbed the yeah, camera? Yeah, because we got the video camera. The video right. camera. And he went and got it. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, he did this. And then, <sighs> sure so, enough. So what I've done, I've asked, I've, I messaged Royce. And I said, hey, what have you been doing with Ronnie? <laughs> he sent me a photo of your car and Nico Hines' car. Did he swap the bonnet? Yeah, swap the bonnet. <laughs> How did he, what, what did you do to, to make him do that? We're in the gym and um, like, I'm just cheeky. You know yeah. me. If I walk past around. someone, yep. I'll you know, pull their pants down and do something to yep. them. And So I walk past him. You know how he hates being like fake punched? Yeah. So I walk past and he's doing whatever he's doing. I just fake punched him. And all the boys got around. I was like telling ooh. the boys, get around. Yeah, they're like, ooh, give me me. I was like, yeah, yeah. So I was getting my little yeah. thrill out of it. And I just walk past again, do it again. And he was like, yeah, you wait. And yeah. all the boys are like, oh, like just shaking him up in that. And I was doing it for a good like minute or so, yep. and you can only imagine how angry he was getting. Oh, his pride would have been taken. Exactly, his yeah. pride was gone. And then he um, come out of training again, and all the boys are laughing. And I said, "Oh, what's, what's going on?" Walk out, and my bonnet's blue, and Nico's one's white. And I just, I've got the photo. Yeah, you got so the photo. We'll put it up on socials when it happens. <laughs> so he's just he's pissing himself, laughing. Um, so were you able to put it back on, or did he have to help? So you? then we. So me and Nico, I'm rat's ass, you know me, yeah. I wouldn't have yeah. a clue. Nico wouldn't either. Um, so we stuff it, we'll just go home. Go home and get this text from um Bell and the you know the ones in the office. They, yeah, yeah. They're like, Oh, like you shouldn't be doing this with the cars and oh, that. No. Like, so just ripping into us. <laughs> Is that even like, your fault? Yeah, I was like, Oh, like, we didn't do anything. So like I think they're more so ripping into Yeah. Sponsors uh, or sponsors sort of Yeah, they're yeah, they're ripping into 
Royce in and Royce had to come. He's like, oh, come back the next day. Had to fix it. Had to fix all the cars. Ah, I was like, sucked, sucked in. in. <laughs> yeah, I was like, day off? Yeah, yeah, it was a day off. Oh, I had to come in, in and change the all the bonnets. I said, sucked in. And then, um, so but I dumped all the stuff in the, in the what do you call it? Um, the cold pool. Oh, nice bath. Yeah, I just chucked oh. every, like, every single thing in his locker, his book. Oh, man. So I just said, I'll stuff it. So we just, you know what, like, the walls are like, we're just going back and forth. And You're um, kidding. Yeah, so I was just. That was one of one of the recent ones. Get that in, yeah. But we just kind of say like, keep it civil now. But I won't take yep. long until we're back into it each other again. Nah, so. mate, he he's one of those blokes that yeah. hates anyone getting on top of him. Yeah, so. who knows what's gonna happen next? And then, so to finish off the interview, mate, we do this thing with each player. It's a set of six. So this is with any teammate that you've played with, whether it's now or blokes you played in the past, yep. right? Teammate you'd want by your side in a fight. In a fight, Royce. See, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> The hardest decision you've ever had to make? Um, probably the origin one. Yeah, that, that was, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how you, how you did that, but yeah. you did it for the good of Queensland. Favourite game you've played in? Favourite game was the Leichhardt oh, Tigers yeah, we one. We beat them together yep. in the semis. That was a one. I love that one. Most influential person in your career? Uh, probably, honestly, probably... I would honestly say you and Wado. Like it's oh, wow, nice. Yeah, I, I reckon easily you and Wado. If you ask Wado, you know, he'd say like I, I think I've taken off the role of you bullying the little kids and see if we just try to help you out. Try mate. to help we, you out, yeah. We'll like see, see, see where, see where be. they're at. <laughs> so I think I've done that. Ah, uh, your favorite celebration, whether it's oh, I've done how many carry ons yeah, have I done? Was a fair few. Probably the fishing one that I done with Connor. For oh yeah, that was good. Eh? Yeah, um, that was pretty cool. Was that preempted or what? Yeah, it was preempted and then he forgot. Oh, and so I just, that's why I just threw the ball and he goes, oh, okay. And oh, he's a it. knucklehead. So, yeah. And three blokes you'd take on a car trip across the country. You, because you can talk to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably need that. Um, we'll take Royce. Oh, do I have to sit in the car? Yeah, Royce you guys sit <laughs> you can drive. Because he'll do anything. He's yeah. like a little oh, he's handyman. He's a real handyman, yeah. He's a handyman. And then um, we need someone with some brains. Probably like Connor Tracy or something. Yeah, he's smart. He's smart. So we'll... Yeah, uh, that's an odd couple. That's not a bad, bad crew. Yeah. It's real odd, like different. But yep. We've got oh, mate, good use out of them. It'd be good fun. Oh, uh, mate. I appreciate you coming today, mate. Thank you for joining Woodsy's World Club Tour. And uh, it's been exceptional, mate. And all the best for the future. Appreciate you, big dog. Thank you. Thanks, brother.